In this video, we're gonna be setting up the Django admin site, which is a whole backend website where you can interact with your models, kind of like we did in the last video, but not on the command line. This is like a whole configurable website. So let me show you how to do that. Now, make sure you're in your Django project and you have your virtual environment active and let's run the server. So we'll do python manage.py run server and I'm gonna do 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 colon 8,000. Now, where we left off a couple of videos ago with our website, we still have that going on. We have our about page here and our home page here. But something that we didn't talk about yet is if you go to slash admin, it prompts you to log in. And this is the gateway into the admin interface. Now, what's the username? What's the password? Well. There is none yet, but we're gonna create one. So we'll minimize that for now. And back on the command line, we can do python manage.py create super user, okay? And what's the name for the super user? I'm gonna use my name. It's gonna to be Tony, email address, tony at tonyteaches.tech and the password. I'll confirm that. And now we have credentials to get into our admin backend. So I'm gonna start up the server again with python manage.py run server and log in with those credentials. So Tony and my password and voila, we are in our Django admin dashboard. There's only one problem though, we don't see our models. We see this other thing called groups and users and actually if we click on users, we see the user that we just created, but we're not gonna be worried about that. We wanna interact with our model. So how do we set that up? Well, let's minimize this and cancel our run server with control C. And there's a file in your, let's go into your apps directory. There's a file in here called admin.py. Let's open that file. And what we have to do, as it says here, is register your models here. So any model that we create, we can have show up in the admin interface by registering it in here. And in order to register it, all you have to do is simply tap into this admin.site dot register and then we're going to pass in um, the class the model class score that we created but we have to import that as well so from score dot models import score so again this is our directories the directory is called score our app directory and then we have a file in there called models.py and in there we defined a class called score and that's what we're passing into the admin site to register it okay so we'll save that and we'll go up to our project root and run the server again. Back over here, if we refresh the page, we should now see our score model and we do. So let's click on into that. So as expected, at least from the last video, if you were following along, we have five scores at this point. Let's click into Andrea and she has a score of 86. We can actually modify this. Let's say she got an 87 and that has, says the score Andrea was successfully saved. Click back in there, it's still 87. We can delete scores. So I'm gonna click on Tony, delete that. Yes, I'm sure he's gone. Now we only have four scores. Uh, let's add him back. Name Tony, let's say I got uh, 56 this time. Save, now we have five scores. You get the idea. It's really easy to create, add, same thing, delete and update scores. And you can have as many as you want or delete them, whatever you gotta do. Um, there's one problem though. I want something that looks like this. I want to see the name and the score. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna have to click into each score. And like I said in the beginning of this video, you can configure the admin interface in such a way. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll minimize this, cancel out of our run server and go into our score directory. Now, before in our admin.py file, we were just simply registering the score, but we can actually define how the layout looks. So let's do that. Let's make a new class in here called score admin, and that's gonna be of type inheriting from model.admin. Okay, and we're just tapping into the import here. It's a, a class called model admin and we're uh, defining a class of that type. Now, there is a, an attribute of this class called list display where you can pass it a list of fields that you wanna show up 
as columns. So the columns that we want to show up are name and value, the only two fields that we have in our model. And it's that easy. There's one other change we have to do. Instead of just registering score, we have to associate it with the score admin, model admin now. So that's the only other change we have to make in here. So we'll save that. We'll run our server. Oops, we have to go back into our project root and run our server. And if we refresh the page, we should see those two columns and we do the name column and the value column. One other configuration or optimization option that we can do is set the default sort order for these. We were playing around with that a little bit in the last video, but let me show you how to do that uh, in a little bit more permanent way. So we'll minimize this, we'll get out of our server, go into our scores directory, and this time, instead of the interacting with the admin.py file, we're gonna actually interact with the model itself. And there's an option in here. Um, it's it's kind of hard to explain. It's, uh, it's a meta class, okay? We're gonna define inside of our class, another class called meta. And there's a, in here an ordering option. And there's a whole bunch of different options that you can actually do in the meta class, uh, which is something that Django gives us. All in the documentation, we can read about that in there. Uh, but one of them is ordering, and this is where you can tell Django how you want your default, whenever you query from the database, how you want this model to be ordered. So let's start off by ordering it by name, okay? So we'll save that, run our, uh, we'll have to go back a directory and run our server and see if that changes things. Refresh the page and now we have alphabetical order, Alex at the top, Tony at the bottom. That's an option, we can also order by the, the score the value as well. Let's see what that looks like. It's gonna be very similar. Uh, we'll edit our models.py file, and instead of name, we'll do values. Save that, run the server, and see how that looks. And like we saw before, the default sort order is um, ascending. So again, like we did in the last video, uh, where I made that mistake, instead of just doing a value, you can do minus value to, to do the opposite. So we'll save that, run the server, and that looks perfect. We got high score at the top, low score at the bottom. We're making great progress here. We now have two different ways to interact with Django models. The first is with the Django shell, and the second is with the Django admin site, as you saw in this video. And in the next video, we're gonna be working with interacting with the models in a more public facing website where you don't need to be a super user to log into the back end and interact with that. And we're gonna do that with something called Django context. So I'll see you over there.